And we're gonna put that in at 21 foot-pounds. And if you don't have a service manual, it should be in your owner's manual. That's the one that comes with the bike. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ninja One YouTube channel. Today we are going to do those minor mods that I mentioned in the last video. And uh, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Uh, these are all the parts that uh, we're going to do. And we're going to start off with uh, the Olin steering damper, that's uh, stock OEM. And then the uh, rear pillion cowl, replacing the passenger seat. And then the TFT screen protector. Uh, we're going to do the tank pads. Uh, we're going to try this 3M tape. It's a little thinner than what's on these pads, uh, but we'll, we'll see how that works out. And then, of course, got a microfiber alcohol to so clean the surface. Then we have a Yoshimura fender eliminator. And I brought the service manual out for any torque settings I may have to set. And we got an oil filter with a crush washer. And then we got a battery tender with this pigtail. We're going to install that on the battery. We've already installed the firepower. I did that when I picked it up before it got its first start. I'm going to save the other battery. And then finally, we're going to do a ram mount. And this will allow me to attach my phone or, or a camera. But for the most part, this bike is uh, ready to go. It's got it 600 miles. I got it all cleaned up. Took it out about 30 minutes ago uh, for a nice little spin, get the engine warmed up, and then, uh, then wash her down. And uh, there you go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the oil. And I will uh, get this camera set up and uh, show you how I'm going to do it. Kind of watched a couple other videos online to see how folks are doing it. Um, so I'm going to take a stab at it. It's the first time I've ever done an oil change on a, on a 600, especially with the oil filter located behind the engine. Right there. And that looks like a mess waiting to happen right there. So give me a minute here, get you set up, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay. I got all the fasteners off here, so we had a push pin right in here. Right there. And then we had one on the bottom. If you can see the hole there. And this is what the push pin looks like here. So there's two of them. There's one down here and one up here that holds these two panels together. Okay, and then we had two normal fairing screws here. And they went here. And then one more bolt. And this has a, uh, a neck on it that goes through uh, this fairing piece right here. So there's no stress on it and it's kind of floating. And of course that attaches right here. Okay, here we go. So we start push this in a little bit, lift the stand, let this drop in front of the stand, and then let's see how all this comes apart here. And I think there's a yeah there's a push pin right here um, uh, with a rubber grommet in, in the hole. And that pops off, okay, and that comes out. And then this should separate. There we go. Just like that. Just move it forward like this here, and it'll unfasten from this tab. 
All right, here are the tools I'm going to use. I have a foot-pound torque wrench. I have a funnel. And then I have the oil filter wrench here. And the part number for that is 57001-1249. And, of course, I'll have the part description for all the parts I showed you. Now, I'm using a uh, standard, you know, ratchet with an extension. And then over here, I have uh, kind of formed, preformed, a funnel, half funnel, that will go in, uh, in there to keep the oil from spilling all over. Okay, and uh, I'll have it set up and show you how I do it. I don't know how well it's going to work. We'll see. Uh, and then we have just some paper towels and a rag, and then I have the, the oil pan itself and I made sure I got the uh, the vent uh, opened and uh, ready to uh, get that oil and then if you look here that's where the uh, drain plug is so I moved the uh, I moved the the pan as far forward as I can with the uh, drain uh, facing towards the front uh, I don't know how fast this is going to gush out uh, and then speaking of uh, letting it gush out we got to take the oil filler cap off here. So I'll we'll go ahead and take that off. And that'll let that oil flow a lot faster. And then hopefully all that, or most of that oil will come out of the drain and I won't have to worry about too much spilling over out of the uh, filter. So let me set you up for the drain plug. All right, here we go. Oh, and by the way, I got a 17 millimeter socket on here. the first thing I do before I put the drain bolt in and all this other stuff I'm gonna get this all cleaned up and then I'm gonna put the oil filter in and what I did is I filled it up about halfway because if I fill it up anymore while I'm turning it in it's just gonna spill out so um, but I made sure I rotated it so that you know the entire filter was saturated and then of course put a little oil on the uh, on the o-ring there so I'm just gonna set this off to the side for now and I'm gonna start cleaning up this mess here all right I'm gonna put the filter in Well, success. The, pump, the aluminum foil funnel works, so highly recommend it. Just be sure not to puncture it as you're forming it around here. Okay, 13 foot-pounds on the oil filter. to 
cleaned up this little nub here and brand new crush washer here. Okay. And put that on the bolt. This drain bolt. And then we'll go ahead and put that in. And we're gonna put that in at 21 foot pounds. And if you don't have a service manual, it should be in your owner's manual. That's the one that comes with the bike. Yeah, those simple torque settings, they'll have that in there for you. All right, that sucker's on. There we go. Now we move the pan over here. All right, I got the manual out, service manual, and I'm on periodic maintenance in 2-12. And I'm on uh, the uh, engine lubrication section there. But you can see it's asking for 10W40. And then when the filter is uh, not removed, uh, you just put three quarts in. When the filter is removed, 3.3. And then when it's completely dry, 3.8 quarts. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and put some 10W40 in there. I really don't have a preference for oil. I'm not screaming on this bike where I need that absolute last horsepower. So uh, I'm pretty happy with the oil I use. And uh, once I get that filled up, I am going to go ahead and warm it up and then check the level line and then uh, add accordingly. Once you get it on that lower level, at or just below that lower level you really you got to be careful because um, you only need to add just a little bit of oil to get it up between the low and and uh, high marks on that on that window there are the marks right there see there's the low and the high marks right on the right side of that window that's what we're going for the uh, we're going to shoot for just below that high level mark right there all right, so what I've done is I put three quarts in, and I figured there's probably uh, 3.1 quarts in it right now because I filled up the oil filter. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to warm this baby up, get it up to temperature. Okay, now it's time to check the oil level, and it looks like, it looks like we're doing pretty good here. Let's see here. Oh yeah, we're just, just below the top level mark. Awesome. Okay, well, that pretty much takes care of the oil change. Now we can move on to the rest of the mods. But she's looking good. She's looking good. Really good. Can't wait. So uh, stand by and we will get these underway. All right, see you in a minute.